Here's a hero section that suffers from what I call boxiness. My goal is to open things up a bit more with this refactor. Now to reduce the blockiness, I'm going to not contain the logo in the navigation within a container. There's a consistent amount of near white background behind it so we can make those elements black for good contrast. here you're going to see me struggle a bit try to make this section work with the photograph in the right column i just couldn't make it look good because that particular photograph did not contrast well with the background it was sitting on you'll see how i decide to fix this by altering the layout and changing the photograph here in a second And finally, this is where I decided to ditch that approach with a single photograph and just choose a three column image gallery instead with much better photos that contrast well with the background. Here's a hero section that lacks clear visual hierarchy as things are just too dispersed and you're not quite sure where to look first. Now the first thing I do is recreate the navigation. Now I do end up switching things around from the original and of course adding an explicit home button as you should always include one. Now next up, I do try to take a similar approach with the enclosed hero section, but in order to open things up more, you'll see I will ditch this approach and opt for a more open-ended environment for this hero section. Now notice how the hero section is brighter and easier to follow without the large colorful shapes surrounding the text. But to add more interest and texture to the design, I found an illustration pack consisting of hand-drawn elements. Adding these can make a layout more interesting and visually appealing.
Now here's a rather standard approach to a developer portfolio hero section. I'm gonna revamp this in multiple ways and not just the design. The first thing I decided to change is the font. The type of font used in the original design, which is called Eurostyle, feels too generic and amateur for this sort of purpose. And also, the primary call to action in the navigation, which is Hire Me, should stand out more than the original design. Now this next section is very important because you're using bad ad copy. Marketing 101 dictates that your headline should appeal to emotions and not features. You want unique ad copy that informs the user how you're going to benefit them. You don't want to use it to tell them your name or that you're simply a full stack developer. The headline I chose that brings it all together, I decided to play off of that with a circular graphic progress bar. And what's really cool is I was able to tie into the type by making a small dot connect with the eye and bring. If you can make your design unique, interesting, and relevant like this, it's always a plus. Finally, they have two call to action buttons, but they're both styled exactly the same. You want to emphasize the more important one over the other, and you do this primarily with color and contrast. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022 and that will give you 22% off at checkout.